Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 5 of the Old World tutorial where we're going to be starting tutorial number 4, Heavy is the Crown. So again reading from here, which is the unique part of the text, in this tutorial you start with 3 cities from the previous scenario. You will make contact with advanced tribes and another nation. You will learn about council members, diplomacy and missions. So let's jump into that. Uh, incidentally, uh, in between the this video and the previous one, I did find the option to scale the UI, so I've made it a little bit smaller. Hopefully it is still uh, legible for you to read in 1080p, uh, but it does make the UI look a little less cluttered by shrinking down some of the UI elements a little bit. I may fine tune it again in the future, but for now it, it just it feels around about right, except the minimap is a little bit small. Heavy is the crown. Hello, Philip of Greece. You are the leader of Greece. You begin this tutorial in a similar situation to the end of your previous one, with an established nation of three cities. You have a small army of units to defend your lands, a basic economy centred around the capital, as well as fledgling Greek paganism. For this tutorial, continue expanding your economy and army and you, as you have previously learned. In this tutorial, you will also learn how to rule your nation. Okay. Ambitions. Oh, this is a wall of text. In previous Learn to Play tutorials, you have been assigned goals to complete. These goals helped you learn the basics of Old World. Now is the time to introduce you to ambitions. Ambitions are a leader's desires for what they want to achieve. Each leader will have their own ambitions and may have some legacy ambitions from previous leaders to achieve. Completing an ambition or legacy will give you a boost in legitimacy. During the course of a full game, you will have the opportunity to complete up to 10 ambitions. If you are successful in completing all 10 ambitions, then you will achieve an ambition victory. Note, for the purpose of this tutorial, you will need to complete 8 ambitions to achieve victory, not the normal 10. You must complete all 8 ambitions to complete this tutorial, otherwise you will fail and need to start again. Your first ambition is to explore west and found a fourth city on the peninsula. Your scout is located to the west of your capital, ready to explore this peninsula. Okay, that's fine then. So we've got that ambition. So there's our first city. Uh, where's our capital? So that's the, the east city. That's the capital. This is the uh, west city. So it's not, it's not directly taking on from what we did uh, on the last one. It's not a continuation of the save, so to speak. Um, we have got some promotions on units and things here. Uh, let's go and start moving over here with a um, couple of melee units because we probably will need to... If we need to settle a city, there's going to be a barbarian camp, right? Oh, there's a city site. There's no barbarians there. Well, that's nice. I think just moving a unit into it claims claims it for us. Uh, we could go and get those uh, elephants, possibly. Um don't think we need any more units over there directly. We will need a settler. We are producing one here at the capital, so that's fine. Uh, this city... I mean, I think we do need some more units. We could definitely do with getting some more uh, stone, possibly. Some iron. We want to upgrade units. We can get some more science, actually, if we uh, put an apprentice acolyte in there. So, let's do that. Syracuse also has a production to do as well. We could get some more food in here. I think you could probably do with a slinger, though. So, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, what else do we have? Got a worker, so we built some farms. This is suggesting a mine. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. So, let's go and get a mine in there. So I don't have to scroll this as much now because I've reduced the... Uh, Reduce the size of the UI a little bit. So the minimap's still a bit small, but it doesn't look like you can adjust the size of individual elements. Uh, got a worker over here. We've got a few suggestions. Uh, the gold mine, definitely. I know I, I did. I'm out of. Uh, am I out of orders? Oh, build Odeon. Don't have the option to do that. Oh, because it would cost me two. It'd cost me two orders to remove the scrub, and then it would cost me another order to build the thing. So, I could clear the scrub now. Yeah, there's the gold mine there. 
Uh, let's let's just cut the scrub then. And then clear the land completely. Then we can build the Odeon there on the next turn. Okay, that's fine. We'll end the year. Uh, our daughter is now severely ill, suffering from a constant... Uh, uh, suffering from a high fever and constant shaking, leaving her barely able to walk. Build a navy. Greece has a fine army of warriors and slingers, and you have no doubt that Greece will dominate the foe on land. However, you have no navy to rule the waves. Uh, Philip, you desire a navy. Research navigation and build a bireem at one of your coastal cities. Okay, so we've got another ambition. You are going to start on the Odeon there, just because it's recommended. So I'm just going to follow some of these recommendations as we go. We can't pick up um, the uh, Navy tech yet because we don't. Uh, we can't get navigation because we're still working on um, aristocracy. So we'll we'll continue for that to happen. Uh, I don't think we can harvest those elephants there. I don't think there's an awful lot for our. Um, scout to do around here uh, we're the first to discover a landmark we can actually name it I'm not bothered about naming it what have we got down here pearls and we've discovered another okay fine so this is probably going to be our naval city we'll probably put it right on the edge maybe okay that's fine don't want to spend all of my points there I think we'll probably yeah, probably move the slinger and maybe the uh, warrior over there. Because that way we can um, produce some more in the capital. I think that would be fine. Uh, what do we have left? You guys, I think you're going to be okay up here. This is at the uh, top of the map, sure, so... Uh, you can just go on to Sentry. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, I think most of these military units can just uh, sit on Sentry. They don't really have anything to do. And we've got a worker left. Now, this is suggesting... Uh, what have we got here? Dies. Uh, this is suggesting a mine. A farm. So, food's not too bad. Everything's decent at the moment. Now, what do, per what do um, dyes actually give us? There's just one, one culture. I mean, do we have nets? Can, can we build that? We can actually get out there. And we can get nets. Okay, let's do that then. So, end the year. There's not much more we can do there. Securing succession. Philip, you feel in your bones that your time is fast coming to an end. Your marriage with Olympus, whilst Rocky did conf confirm the line of succession through Alexander. Your most important goal in old, old World is to ensure the line of succession. So again, it's quite similar to Crusader Kings. If your nation has no heir when the leader dies, then that is the end of your dynasty and the end of the game. To help ensure the line of succession, you are able to marry the princes and princesses of the nation to members of your families other nations or tribes. Marriage to a prince or princess grants you an option, uh, an opinion boost from the new spouse's family, nation or tribe. It's time for Alexander to marry and have a child to ensure the line of succession. Select Alexander and click the family marriage button and then click the family you wish to marry into. This will trigger a family marriage mission indicated by a green star on Alexander's portrait and it will take one year to complete. If the mission is successful, the family will offer a selection of potential spouses for Alexander. If there are no suitable spouses or you do not like who is offered, you may perform this mission as many times as you need to find the right wife for Alexander. Once married, it shouldn't take too long for them to produce the next heir. You hope you, you, hope you live long enough to see your grandchild extend the line of succession. Okay, so uh, that's another ambition for us. So we click on uh, Alexander and family marriage and let's go for... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter all that much. Let's go for that one. Fine, whatever. And uh, where are we now? So I I'm still moving over here with these um, these military units. We will need to get the settler over here. It's not quite ready for that yet. We can keep moving around with the scout. Is that something we can harvest or is it just... It, yeah, lavender, we can harvest that. And uh, I've, I've used up all of my um, 
orders this turn already. Which is fine, because I don't think there was anything else that particularly needed moving. Uh, my daughter has died. That's unfortunate. A new marriage proposal has arrived. Um... So, what are the differences between them? So, 21 and 27. How old's Alexander? Alexander's 26. So, 21-year-old is a builder. So, she can work as a governor. Minus one year to build improvements. As a leader, can add urban tiles, but she's not, not, not a leader. Uh, discipline. For leaders and governors, discipline increases money. For generals, it increases units XP. She's slothful, which reduces our, um, what do they call it in this, training. Opinion of me is cautious. What about this one? You're a zealot. As a general, units cannot die with greater than one hit point. As a general, if leader, plus 10% enlist chance on kill. So you think if you kill an enemy unit, there's a 10% chance it becomes your unit. 10% chance to become religious heads. Plus 40 opinion of holy war. Minus one wisdom. Well, I'll go for that one. That's uh, Pella, isn't it? No. Yeah, they're both of Pella. It's uh, Erixo. Fine, let's do that. So that should be one of the ambitions fulfilled. Uh, training specialists in cities. As your workers build improvements around a city, that city gains the ability to train a specialist to work that improvement. For example, a city may train a farmer to work a farm. A farmer increases growth, food and science yields from that improvement. So again, this is a little bit like Civilization, where you... Uh, well, Civilization 5, where you are placing a, uh, a population onto an improvement. Um... Not so much the improvements, because, I mean, pop in Civilization 5 and even in Civilization 6, populations work any tile that they're on. But it's more like putting a population into um, one of the specialist buildings, because they become a specialist. Um, whereas here, you actually have to train the specialists. Because unlike Civilization, this game doesn't have assignable population to tiles. You just sort of work the get the yields automatically. Rural improvements, such as farms and mines, are able to have one specialist each. Urban improvements, such as barracks and Odeon, are first able to have an apprentice specialist, which can be upgraded to a master and then to an elder specialist. Build some specialists in cities to improve yields from improvements. I mean, I've already started doing that anyway. As well as units and specialists, a city is able to build projects. A project is an internal city-wide enhancement. Projects range from construction such as walls, civic events such as festival, to governance such as decree. A project is built using civics, and the, spend, the speed at which the city is able to build a project is determined by the amount of civics generated by the city. As the city increases in culture level, projects such as inquiry also increase the level to produce a higher bonus. Other projects such as the moat require the technology portcullis plus an existing walls in the city. Next time a city has an empty build queue, consider building a project to enhance your city. Cool. Buying and selling goods. Oh, there's a lot to go through here. Across the top of the screen, you will find your nation's stockpiles of different resources. Workers require iron, stone and wood to build improvements. Iron is produced in a mine and stone produced in a quarry, both of which your workers are able to build. However, you do not yet have access to lumber mills which produce wood. Therefore, to access wood, you may either need to use a worker to cut trees or simply buy it from the market. To chop wood, move a worker onto trees, onto a trees tile and then click the Cut Trees Worker action. The trees will regrow in a few years, but if you clear the tile, trees will no, no longer grow in the future. The other option to access wood is to buy it from the market. You can access the market by holding your mouse cursor over the resource you wish to purchase in the top bar. Hover over the trees and you will be able to buy or sell the resource. Click the buy button to purchase one. Hold shift and click the buy to purchase ten. Hold control and click to purchase one hundred. Until you research forestry and are able to build lumber mills, it's a good idea to have at least one worker dedicated to cutting trees every turn. Fair enough, because we do not have a lot of wood. Right, on to the next... Right, we do have a, our settler now. So, that is our priority. Get the settler over to the new site. Um, we can harvest the pigs. That's like an urban site there, almost, isn't it? 
Not too sure what else we're supposed to do uh, with this guy. Looks like there's some exploring to be done uh, up up top here. So let's let's head in uh, that direction. Uh, so now we have to choose a production here. So we can start getting some specialists in here. What do we feel that we are down a little on? Food is one of our lowest things at the moment. So we could go ahead and get a farmer. So let's go and do that. I know it did say uh, consider working on a project. Which I you know, will do at something. But I think right now it's not greatly required. So let's go and end the year. Now known as Philip the Able. Growth boom in Pella. Wife has given birth to yet another son. Uh, navigation. Um, yeah, let's just go and work on it because we want to build up a navy and I don't know how long that's going to take. This is as far as we can get the settler on this turn. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to do with you. We can go and harvest the horses. That will give us some gold. And then we can start trekking out here. What is that? Uh... We are at the top of the map. That that black line is the map border, I believe. Uh, we need to choose a production over here. I mean, it might be worth getting another worker just so we can start cutting some trees. Because we do have some forests over here. And, yeah, let's go ahead and work on uh, getting another worker. That's going to take seven years, which is quite some time. Culture improving. Culture in Pella is developing. Festivals, fine art and poetry, music and dancing and inspiring architecture are taking hold in Pella. As the culture of a city improves, workers are able to build better improvements. Your governors perform better and your cities inspire your nation, increasing your victory point score. Workers will also have access to impressive wonders of the world. Only one of each wonder may exist and they increase your victory point score. Greece desires a wonder of the world. Specifically, it desires the oracle. Wonders require a large amount of resources to build. You lack the stone required to build the oracle. However, you are able to auto-buy the resource shortfalling by holding down the alt key when you select the improvement to build from the worker build list as long as you have the money to buy the resources. Move a worker to a hill in Pella. A tile may be recommended when you select the worker. Hold down the alt key on your keyboard and if you have the money uh, needed to buy the required resources, it should allow you to select the oracle from the build menu. If you don't have the required money, then wait a few turns until you do and try again. It will take a number of turns for the oracle to complete this ambition. Okay. I don't believe we have a free worker anyway, because currently working on the mine. We do have a free hill over here, so we should be able to do that on the next turn. Uh, this is our settler. You are going to... I'm going to take one more turn, because I want to get right on the coast with this one, I think. Yep, so that worker is free. Um, so let's move over to here. We do have a decent amount of money. So there's the oracle. We can't afford the oracle. We do have enough food. Uh, we do have enough civics. But we do not have enough stone. But if we hold alt, yeah, so alt will auto buy it for us. It doesn't tell me how much gold it's going to cost me, which is the only weird thing. Because I've currently got 669 gold. If I click that, are we building it? Looks like we are, possibly. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that we're building that now. It hasn't uh, told me that it is. Uh, workers. This worker is now done. It wouldn't hurt us to get some... We can get a, a, a temple over here, can't we? Should we get one? Should we build a shrine? It's recommending Hades. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. So we'll go and build the shrine. Um, on to the next unit, which is our slinger. I don't know why the slinger woke up. I'm not sure that it really, really needed to do that. You've got a plus on you. Is that because I can promote you? Should I promote you? Maybe I should. Faster healing. 10% attack and defense versus melee units. 25% attack and defense versus siege and ship units. Well, that could be useful, especially because you're on a, uh, you're currently sort of looking after a coastal city. So let's consider doing that. Yeah, nothing for you to do here. 
I can, of course, march around and harvest wheat and harvest marble. Can't get that one again this year. Let's keep going over this way, see what we can find. Juicer production in Syracuse. We're probably... We're probably good here. Um, food could be better. Stone could be better. We don't have any uh, quarries over here, though. Let's go and get the fisher, actually. Get some more uh, more gold coming in, especially if we're having to buy stuff. So now we can go over here and we can settle this city. Which one of these do we want to go for? Uh, new siege ship units start with ingenuity. So yeah, I think it needs to be this one because it'll give us better ships here. You're now known as Philip the Pioneer. You've completed an ambition. It gives us plus 10 legitimacy. Well done, you have expanded Greece to the west and founded a fourth city. Continue working on other ambitions. Okay. So, you are... Weren't you supposed to be building the Oracle? Old alt. Yeah, why can't... I don't have the stone. Ah, I can't actually afford it. I don't have the gold. It's telling me there now how much it will be to buy. 957.2 gold. So I can't do that one right now. That was weird because it looked like I could before. I don't know why it was... Uh, why it did that. Um, we could potentially go and build another mine over here. We'd have to clear the scrub first, but that's fine, I think. Not a mine, a quarry. It's, I want to try and get some more stone. So that'll give us a chance to um, to get some gold coming back in. As for the scout, we'll continue to walk around and uh, harvest a few things. Harvest the sheep. And see what we can find. We can harvest some ore there as well. All good stuff. So our new city, we, we're still working on navigation, so we can't produce any ships at this point but we do need to get a worker over here so let's work on the worker it's only two years for navigation anyway uh, the recent actions of our son has called into question the soundness of his judgment he's lost one wisdom council members as well as your spouse and your heir there are three other members of the council your council resides above the ambitions list and from left to right the roles are spouse heir, ambassador chancellor and spy master the councillors hold special places within your nation each councillor has a role to play in the running of your nation and is able to perform unique missions the ambassador may negotiate truce peace and alliances with other nations and tribes as well as demand tribute conduct a trade mission or hold a high synod the chancellor may issue family gifts pacify city or imprison another character and the spy master leads your agents who are able to infiltrate nation, slander nation, steal research, or even attempt to atta assassinate another character. A councillor's attributes may also help contribute extra bonuses to your nation. For example, an ambassador's wisdom will improve the city's culture and charisma will improve foreign opinion. However, hover the mouse over the councillor slots for full details. Now that you have researched aristocracy, you may appoint an ambassador to the council. To appoint an ambassador, click on the flashing ambassador icon and choose a character to fill the role. So, okay, we'll click on ambassador icon. So, what do we specifically need? Uh, let's look at you. Do we need somebody with charisma? Do we need somebody that likes us? Not too sure it matters too much. We'll go ahead and, and just give it to you. And, uh, yeah, make your ambassador. So that's that job done anyway. Uh, on to the next unit. We have a slinger. I think it's because we can give you a general or promote you. I don't necessarily... Well, we, we can. Let's give you... Um, let's give you fierce. Sure. Put you back on to uh, just guarding. On to the next unit. You've harvested the ore. Now we know we'll be meeting other nations in this. So I don't know exactly where they're going to be. Harvest them goats. Still don't have enough gold yet to build the oracle. 
Capella is to choose a production. We could get a stone cutter, which would increase the amount of stone we've got coming in. That's not a bad idea. Go ahead and work on that. On to the next unit. You have finished the Odeon. Uh, getting the gold mine's probably not a bad thing. So we work on the mine for you and end the year but before i end the year i'm going to end the video because i think that's a good place to stop thanks a lot for watching i hope you're still enjoying this series of uh old world and i will see you on the next video until then goodbye for now